Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and today's video we will see how to download the Docker for your machines, right? So um, we have we have spoken a lot about uh, why we need to use uh, Docker in test automation. Then we also see what is the difference between virtualization and containerization, and to perform all these things we need Docker. Docker is again a software, guys. You need to install it for your uh, machine. And suppose if you look at the diagram on the right. you can understand this is the picture that we you know uh, spoke about when we you know uh, covered containerization right so if you notice this is a physical infra if you if you mean a physical infra this is my laptop i have that ready okay my laptop is having operating system be it uh, mac os or windows os or linux os in my case it is windows os and in your case it can be any of them and so i have these two things ready now we need the third layer so this third layer is called container engine in our case we are going to use docker as our container engine right so we can use rkt but in our case we need docker engine to manage all the containers again when i mean containers you can imagine as a form of virtual machines but they are not actually virtual machines right so now uh, let's see how we can download this particular software downloading a software is very very easy right so if you notice um just go here uh just search uh, download docker desktop for uh, in in a google and you'll you'll get navigated here and if you notice there is an option for you to download windows for mac and for linux so if you go scroll down a little bit okay you can also download from here okay so when you download this okay when you click on this it will download a exe installer file for you okay again to explain you all those things i cannot install in my local machine because um, i have already a lot of things a lot of images downloaded for my docker so if i install if i uninstall and just install it again it will be too much of task so what i have done i have taken a brand new machine from aws again guys i will teach separately how we can use a brand new you know we can use aws and other stuff but imagine i have a machine now okay so if you notice this is an easy to machine that i have created and i have downloaded so when you download the docker desktop uh, from the link what i mentioned you will see something like this okay you just need to double click it okay once you double click it it will start downloading all the packages for you guys so it's very very simple very simple process in terms of linux or your mac os this, you know it can vary a little bit uh, we will we'll cover cover about how we can do that for linux later but for now this is very very simple process is just like another software you are installing guys for uh, so if you notice at the end it will ask you these two things okay Uh, if you want to enable the shortcut for your uh, docker desktop yes enable this as well but you also need to enable the hyper v for that uh, you know in order to use containerization feature so please please do these two things okay and then click on okay so once you do this again it will download all the packages okay it will do all the things for you you don't have to do anything else okay again guys that's it we have now installed the docker into our machine okay so this is very simple process after this please make sure that you are restarting your machine so that the hyper v changes are getting reflected okay maybe it will act, actually force you to do that once you do all these things okay once you have done all with all these things uh, and then you have restarted your machine open the command prompt and then just type docker uh, hyphen v so it will check the whether you know uh, what is the docker version that has been installed in this particular machine and if you notice for me it is displaying docker version 19.03 in your case the version may be different because you are downloading some latest version so so obviously you know you can just confirm with the docker uh, even with the docker command okay once you type docker command you will you will some you will get something like this if you don't have installed docker properly you will get something it is not rec recognized as internal or external command in that case you need to find what is the exact error message and you need to debug accordingly again guys uh, if i go to the uh, this particular thing i just want to cover one more thing if you don't want to download docker because uh, for some reasons that you you don't want to install docker something like that then okay in the, in the bottom of this particular thing uh, you know there is something called as play with docker okay just click this okay what this guy has done they have given us a docker environment so you don't have to download whole thing okay just go here in this if you want to learn about docker you can go th through this if you want to get a training for docker you can go through this if you want to create a lab environment just click on this get started once you get this started okay it last you to log in okay just click on using docker so so if you notice 
it is asking it is it will actually navigate you to uh, the docker hub page okay so sign in it will ask you to sign up okay if you do if you have already uh, id already you can just type it or you can just click on sign up and then do a sign up process okay once you do this okay once you do this it's a very simple process okay you can actually um play around with docker without even downloading all the docker or other stuff okay let's since i have the id already with me so let me try to log in and just show you how we can do this okay so once i did this it will now change to start command right just click on start now if you notice uh, so it, it has given me four hours of time okay i can create a new instance okay just click on new instance you notice the same kind of thing it has actually given me some some machine for me to play with docker click on alt plus enter okay alt plus enter will take you to full screen now if i just type docker okay you can you can give me the same thing whatever i see in my local machine same thing you know you can just you, you know play around with it on online you don't even have to download the docker that's the good thing about it if you are, if you don't have time to install docker and other stuff you can still use this kind of thing again guys i'll i'll see you in another great video until then tata bye bye from amudan thank you bye